Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to review the Ecobee Smart Thermostat or the Ecobee 5 Smart Thermostat. So this is the top of the line smart thermostat for the Ecobee lineup. Now there's also the Ecobee 3 Lite, which comes in at a lower price point and has a few less features than the Ecobee Smart Thermostat. We've also done a review on that, so go check it out in the links below. But the Ecobee Smart Thermostat allows you to control your heating and cooling from your phone remotely. Now, what's also unique about the Ecobee Smart Thermostat is that it actually has Alexa built in. There is a microphone and a speaker inside of the thermostat, very similar to an Echo Dot that allows you to talk Alexa commands directly to this smart thermostat so that you can control it with Alexa voice commands or even control other smart home devices using Alexa commands and your Ecobee thermostat. So you can even ask it questions like, Alexa, what's the weather? And your thermostat will respond. Now, the Ecobee Smart Thermostat is also compatible with Google Home or Apple HomeKit and Siri voice commands. So really, you get compatibility with all of the smart voice assistants in one device. And if you're looking for a HomeKit Smart Thermostat, there are not a ton of them out on the market. And the Ecobee Thermostat offers a good option if you want to use HomeKit compatibility. Now, installation of the Ecobee was fairly straightforward, but you should note that the Ecobee thermostat does require a common wire or what's called the power extender kit or common wire adapter. So inside of the package with the Ecobee thermostat, it has a power extender kit. And what that does is that it converts one of your wires over to a power wire so that you can power this Ecobee thermostat. But what you should know about the power extender kit is that it does require you to do some wiring inside of your furnace in order to connect that module and change your thermostat wiring around so that it is compatible with the Ecobee thermostat. So you don't necessarily need to run any additional wires. You can just install the power extender kit in your HVAC system. However, for some people, they may feel uncomfortable opening up the cover to their HVAC system and installing that power extender kit. Now, if you have a common wire or what's called a C wire already in your thermostat wire bundle, you're all set and you don't need to install that power extender kit. But I mention this because there are other smart thermostats out there on the market, some models of the Nest that don't necessarily require a common wire, which makes the installation easier for some people. Now, some Nest thermostats do require a common wire and some HVAC systems do require a common wire, but it's important to note that the installation isn't going to be just at the thermostat. You will have to do some wiring inside your HVAC system. Now, once the Ecobee thermostat was set up, the app installation process was smooth and it was easy to get it connected to Wi-Fi so that I could remotely control it. It was also easy to connect it to Alexa and Google Home and HomeKit when I wanted to use it. Now, the interface for using the Ecobee Smart Thermostat includes a touchscreen interface on the front here. So the larger number on the Ecobee Smart Thermostat is what your current house temperature is. The smaller temperature on the side is what your current set point is, and you can adjust that by scrolling up or down with your finger. Now, the touchscreen is responsive and was easy to use, and at the bottom of the smart thermostat, you have other menus and options that you can click on to adjust the settings of the smart thermostat. Now, overall, there is a ton of functionality built into this and you can change around all types of settings. You can schedule the Ecobee thermostat, create eco temperatures or set points that are designed to help you save energy and money as well as you can enable the home and away temperatures, which will automatically turn down your HVAC system for maximum energy efficiency when it detects that you are no longer in your house. The Ecobee Smart Thermostat is also compatible with Ecobee room sensors, 
which have a motion detector and a temperature sensor built into them. Now you can place these room sensors throughout your home to better manage the temperature throughout your home. And you can use them as part of a system to average the temperature. So let's say you have a bedroom that's on the second floor, but your Ecobee thermostat is on the first floor. The Ecobee temperature in room sensors can help manage that temperature. So it's maybe a little bit cooler at night in your bedroom, if that's what you prefer while you're sleeping, or a little bit hotter in that particular room. And it automatically does the calculations and can tell if the room is occupied or unoccupied by the built-in motion sensor inside of that temperature sensor. Now, the one thing I don't like about the temperature sensors is that it doesn't allow you to set a precise set point for a particular room. So you can't use the Ecobee temperature sensor to set a temperature at, let's say, 65 degrees every night at 8 p.m. What it does is it takes all that information from the temperature sensors and the thermostat and tries to average out the temperature. So if you have it set for 65 degrees, you might get 65 or 67 or 66. It's not super precise and it is really about averaging the system and the comfort of your entire home rather than prioritizing a particular room and set point. And some people may prefer that averaging. However, I like to have the bedrooms a specific temperature when I sleep at night because it just makes me more comfortable. Now, the two main things that differentiate the Ecobee Smart Thermostat from the Ecobee 3 Lite Thermostat is that the Ecobee Smart Thermostat is compatible with more systems and systems with accessory control. If you have a humidifier or dehumidifier, your system will most likely be compatible with the Ecobee Smart Thermostat because it has additional accessory terminals. I've got the Ecobee 3 Lite Smart Thermostat plate here, and it has two less thermostat terminals than the Ecobee Smart Thermostat, so it is not typically compatible with humidifiers or dehumidifier accessories. So to some people, that is important. Now, the Ecobee Smart Thermostat will work with most traditional heating systems if you have a furnace or an air conditioner combined system, or even if you have a heat pump. The Ecobee 3 Lite is also also compatible with most heat pumps and furnace and air conditioner systems. So in my particular case, I have an HVAC system with an air conditioner unit and a traditional gas fired furnace and I haven't had any issues with the Ecobee thermostat. Now I did have to install the PEK kit in order to get this to work or that power extender kit. The Ecobee smart thermostat is also compatible with dual stage heating or dual stage cooling systems. So if you have a dual stage heating or a dual stage cooling or both dual stage heating and cooling, the Ecobee thermostat should work just fine with your system. It's also compatible with dual fuel systems. So if you have a separate air conditioner and let's say a boiler connected to the Ecobee thermostat, in most cases, you're going to be able to get that dual fuel system to work along with whatever accessories you are going to attach it to. The other major difference between the Ecobee Smart Thermostat and the Ecobee 3 Lite is that it does have Alexa built in. So even though the Ecobee 3 Lite is compatible with Alexa, it doesn't have an Alexa speaker and voice assistant built right into the device. So the main features that differentiate this from other Ecobee thermostats is that it has Alexa built in and it has more compatibility with systems that have accessories like a humidifier or dehumidifier. Now, overall, my experience with the Ecobee thermostat has been positive. But the couple things that I guess I wish were a little bit different about the Ecobee thermostat or I would change are this. I wish that the temperature on the side of the Ecobee device, instead of being so small for adjustment, was larger and the similar size to the temperature of your home. I just think it's easier to be able to look at that set point and see what your current temperature is that you've got the heating or cooling set to. So I wish that would change. Now, the other thing that I wish was a little bit different, I wish they had a method of connecting the Ecobee smart thermostat without a common wire that didn't require that PEK kit. Now, I understand the purpose of the PEK kit and it really is a marvel of engineering that it uses those other wires to communicate and work with your smart HVAC system. The reason that I see it as somewhat of a detractor is because if you feel uncomfortable working 
putting in your HVAC system, you might shy away from the Ecobee smart thermostat or the other option is just get professional installation and somebody can come install that PEK smart thermostat adapter for you. However, in newer homes, this may not even be an issue because many builders add additional thermostat wiring because they know smart thermostats are actually becoming more popular. So you may already have a common wire or a C wire behind your existing thermostat. And in that case, you don't have to worry about the PEK kit or PEK extender kit. And we do have a video that shows you the full installation. So if you wanna learn how to do that, you absolutely can. Just look for the links below. But overall, it has been a reliable smart thermostat. I do like the Alexa voice commands, and it is nice to have a HomeKit compatible smart thermostat if you're trying to build a HomeKit compatible home. And I know some people like to stay in that Apple ecosystem and have everything compatible with HomeKit. So that's a major plus for this smart thermostat. So thank you for watching this review of the Ecobee smart thermostat or the Ecobee 5 smart thermostat. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, or click any of the links below if you want to support us. Thank you.